Hey guys, so if you want to know how I lost my baby weight, keep watching this video. Hey guys, so today I want to talk about postpartum weight loss. Um, losing weight after you have a baby is different from just losing weight regularly, um, in my opinion, because there's a lot of other factors going on at the same time. Your hormones are going through all kind of nonsense and uh, you have more responsibility because you have a new baby. It's just different. So I just want to share with you what I did, um, what worked for me. Um, I am past my pre-pregnancy weight. I'm, I think, like three pounds less than what I weighed before I became pregnant. And I just wanted to share with you what worked for me. So before you take any tips or advice or anything from me, um, I just want to say that everyone is different. Everybody is different. Every pregnancy is going to be different. Every delivery is different. And every recovery is different. So um, just take what you think may work for you. Try it out. If it does, great. If it doesn't, you can try something else. Uh, but this is what worked for me. So first I want to start off by saying that um, you have to make the conscious decision that you want to put effort into getting your body back right after you have the baby. I know there are some women who um, they don't necessarily want to do that. Uh, they want to just focus completely on the baby and they tell themselves, okay, I'm going to give myself the first year to just, you know, let my body go and I'll work out once the year is up. Um, for me, I, that wasn't an option. I knew that I wanted to get back to my pre-pregnancy weight as soon as I could. So before I became pregnant, I was pretty active. I was becoming more active. Um, I was never like into sports and things like that in high school or college. But as I'm getting older, I've become into yo I've become more um interested in yoga and running and just working out strength training um different things like different activities like that so I've become more active hiking and running and you know different activities like that so before I became pregnant I was running a lot I was training for different races and um I think that also helped me throughout my pregnancy and afterward too at maintaining uh, the weight and losing it at a steady pace um, because when I was pregnant I didn't work out as much as I would have wanted to I did do some yoga and I did do some walking uh, I even went to a Zumba class once when I was pregnant which wasn't probably the best idea I think I was like four or five months pregnant I had just a little belly but yeah I felt like I was shaking my baby all around even though some people say that it's okay to do uh, Zumba while you're pregnant but yeah I didn't do that again so um I made the decision that I wanted to lose the weight, get my body back. I actually wanted to become uh, in better shape than I was before I became pregnant because um, I've never been like really, really overweight, but I've never actually consistently worked out and maintained a nice toned body. I was just like, you know, naturally small smaller or whatever um but you could tell a difference in just someone who's like skinny fat and someone who's fit and I definitely wanted to become fit so um I told myself I wanted to work out after I had the baby so that's what you need to do you need to make that decision that that's what you're going um to do that's what you're going to work towards so number one right from the beginning I've been told while I was pregnant and I guess um studies prove that Breastfeeding helps um, you lose weight quicker after you have given birth. Breastfeeding burns around 500 calories a day, um, and you should be replacing that with, you know, an extra meal, something like a smoothie or whatever, um, but it does burn calories, so it's like a workout, just breastfeeding, you know, just giving your baby that um, natural source of nutrition, and at the same time, you're helping your body out too. Um, breastfeeding, they say, also helps uh, reduce the chances of getting breast cancer. Um, um, that's what I've been told. So breastfeeding is a great thing. And I know a lot of women want to and not um, are they're not always able to. They don't always have that option. Some may have to go right to work. Some may, you know, it the milk just never comes. Um, it's always a different circumstance. For me, I was lucky enough to be able to be breastfeeding my son still to this day. So, and he's seven months now. Um, so definitely, if you can, try your best to breastfeed, even if it's for a month, two weeks, 
anything, you know, anything would be helpful. Uh, the next thing is meal prep. So meal prepping, a lot of like competition, bodybuilder, you know, people who do things like that, they meal prep uh, to keep their portions under like a certain amount and whatever to eat as the same exact amount every single day meal prepping is great for new mothers because um you don't have time to cook every night um but you want to still eat healthy you want home cooked food you don't want to run out to mcdonald's when you get hungry um so meal prepping would be an awesome option I would go shopping pick one day a week go to the grocery store do all your shopping come home set two or three hours aside and make um, like bulky stuff like a big pan of rice a big pan of just vegetables steamed vegetables um, and what else uh, a poultry or fish or some kind of protein um, and you know separate that throughout the days of the week that is gonna make uh, life that much easier for you and it's also going to help in maintaining and losing the weight. Uh, you can, you know, eat smaller portions. You can not go hours without eating. Um, some people have that misconception that uh, not eating is going to help lose weight and you don't want to do that. You do not want to starve your body, especially if you have a child to run after, to look after. You're going to be depleted of energy. Um... So you're going to want to eat and meal prepping is what helped me and what kind of kept me on track and what I was doing. So besides meal prepping, another thing that I love doing before I even became pregnant is juicing. Juicing is amazing. I have another video on juicing. I hope to have more videos about juicing and telling you about my different recipes and things like that. But juicing definitely helped me a lot. Um... I would juice every single morning and I would just do different concoctions and it was summertime so it was just like ugh, cold juice in the morning is just like the best ever. So I would do like green juices, um, pineapple juice, carrot juice, like just different juices, uh, cucumber juice or cucumber water or whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, it was great. Juicing is awesome. It's a great way to detox the body. Now, you don't want to juice too much. If you're breastfeeding, so, like, as much as I wanted to, like, do a juice cleanse, I couldn't. I knew that because all those toxins would be released through my breast milk and given to my son. So you want to watch out for that. But I would have a nice 8-ounce cup of juice every morning. And then Sundays, I would do a juice fast. And um, I would have his bottles pumped for him that he can take on Sunday because I knew I just needed to give my body a rest on Sundays, drink my juice, drink my water, and I would see a difference right away. Monday morning, my stomach was flat, my skin looked clearer, um, I would lose like a pound or two, and you know, that's just like water weight mostly, but it was just nice, it was a nice jump start to the week to make you want to start your week off with oatmeal instead of a donut for breakfast or something like that, you know? So juicing is awesome. You should think about it, get into it, do some research on it. It's great. I feel like it really helped me out a lot. Uh, next thing is drinking more water. Water, water, water. Water is the most important thing ever. You hear it from everyone because it is. So my intake of water definitely went up crazy. Um, I used to be a bottled water drinker and then, you know, <laughs> spending money on water is like, it's so, it's so, it's stupid to me. So I got a water filter and I have a endless, you know, amount of water. Like you shouldn't, all those bottles, wasteful, whatever. Get yourself a Brita filter, get your water, fill up a jug, have it with you all the time. Drink as much water as you can. Sometimes when you think you're hungry, you're actually thirsty. And once you're thirsty, your body is is already depleted um, in a significant amount of water. So you want to just sip on water throughout the day. That's something else I feel really helped me in definitely maintaining my stomach and having it get flatter. Um, next thing I wrote down was keep your stress level low. This one I know is a little bit challenging, especially with the new baby, because stress will arise. Um, if you're alone, if you're a single mom, even if you're married, if you're in a relationship, Whatever, life, you know, it gets stressful sometimes and having a baby adds just a little bit more stress, sometimes a lot more stress, depending on your situation. But you want to do um, the best you can to keep your stress level low. And this is going to benefit you and your child and your family. Um, 
So what I would do is find things that I knew kept me happy. I like to watch movies that, that are going to make me laugh. I love doing yoga. I started meditating a lot more. Um, I would do running, um, just going on walks, having conversations with my sister. You know, just things that keep the stress low. When you feel yourself um, starting to get stressed, if you have someone around that can watch your child, bless you, have them watch your child and... Um, Take a nap. Take a 20-minute power nap. You know, just take a shower. Like, different things can help you relieve that stress. Because stress is only going to hold on to that fat. Um, it's going to push you into a cycle. And you don't want to fall into it. Especially, you know, if you're prone to, like, postpartum depression. And, and just going... You don't want to go down. You only want to go up. So you need to keep the stress away as much as you can I can't emphasize that more um I just try to stay happy I try to stay positive I try to stay motivated I try to smile find things that are going to motivate you hang up um positive quotes around your house wherever just stay try to stay happy try to stay in good spirits um it's gonna it's just gonna keep you on track that one just trust me on that one it'll keep you on track and the last thing um of course, it's exercise, duh. <laughs> you have to exercise just a little bit more now, maybe, um, to get your body back or to create, um, to work with the new body that you have. Because your body isn't the same. It's never going to be the same again after you have a child. But that doesn't mean it has to be, it has to be worse. Um, for me, like I said, I wanted to be fit. Whereas before I was pregnant, I was skinny fat. Now I want to be fit. So I had to make a workout kind of exercise routine for myself um, that was going to get me there. So you want to do things. It's too heavy for you, baby. You want to do things that are going to tone your body because when you're pregnant, gravity is pulling everything down. It wants to pull the baby out. Why are you doing that? Huh? You're not crying. You're just making noise. You want some attention? Hmm? Come on. Okay, so like I was saying, gravity is trying to push the baby out. Everything is coming down, so your body is going to droop. And it's not pretty. Um, and, um... Yeah, so you're going to want to do things that are going to tone your body, Pilates, yoga, weights, you know, things like that that work against your body, to, that give you that resistance uh, to build those muscles, build the stronger muscles, and strength training is great. Those that don't know, building muscle burns fat. So the more muscle you build, the quicker you'll see a difference in your weight loss. So you definitely want to do things that are going to build the muscle. Um... So yeah, that's what's been working, what's been working for me so far in uh, getting back to my pre-pregnancy um, weight. And I have a few things coming up in the future that are going to push me uh, to another level um, as far as fitness goes. But I'm going to end this video now because somebody wants some attention. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching. Um, rate this video and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.